Prince William is a man of his word. The royal and his wife Kate Middleton met with grieving 11-year-old boy Deacon Glover last month while visiting the charity Church on the Street in Burnley. Glover had sadly lost his mom last year and bonded with William, who lost his own mother, Princess Diana, in a car accident when he was just 15. While chatting, the royal asked Deacon, who was wearing a Nick Pope jersey at the time, if he'd like to meet the soccer star, saying, quote, We'll see what we can do. And last Sunday, the Duke of Cambridge came through when Deacon met with the athlete after Burnley's game against Liverpool. Deacon's grandmother, who said the moment brought her to tears, spoke out to Burnley Express about the heartfelt moment, saying, quote, Everyone was so welcoming to us, they really couldn't do enough for us. It was a special day, one that we will always remember. We want to thank everyone at the club and also Prince William for making this happen for Deacon. It seems like Prince William and Kate Middleton are really stepping up their game lately when it comes to royal appearances and connecting with the public. Access Hollywood previously spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about how Kate Middleton and Prince William are apparently preparing to one day be in charge. Kate and William are really kind of stepping up to the plate as far as leading the monarchy. Now, William is not the next in line to the throne. His father, Prince Charles, is going to be the next monarch in the United Kingdom. However, William and Kate are very much already in that kind of waiting in the wings role where they are both very much aware that they will be on the throne probably, you know, not too far in the future. I think they both know that Prince Charles is not a young spring chicken. He's not the age that Elizabeth was when she became queen. And I don't think anyone is expecting Prince Charles to sit on the throne for decades and decades to come. He will absolutely take on the role because he has been waiting his entire life to become king. But I think that his reign in comparison with the queens will be very short lived. William and Kate are already not acting as though they are already the leaders of the monarchy, but they are taking on a huge amount of responsibility, not just in terms of public engagements, but also in terms of the way in which the monarchy is run. They're making small but very important changes, opening up the monarchy to a more modern point of view, not perhaps in a way that is noticeable every single day, but bit by bit, they have kind of helped the monarchy to evolve, to kind of embrace new traditions, and to kind of maintain the important heritage of the past, while also kind of saying, okay, a few of the things that we used to do are seen as being very stuffy. They are very stuffy. Here are ways where we can kind of maintain the tradition behind these things, without making it appear as though we are completely ignorant to what the rest of the world is doing and how they're living.